Speaking of the check it out now, I know this shouldn't even be a story, but god damn it, yo, the pettiness, I gotta approve. This is some big act ish. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I remember the old days of Drake when he was just simping all over the place, you know what I mean? Yo, he was begging chicks to hop off the stripper pole. He was just like, yo, I'm messing up the double T kiss. Ha! Get that out of here, man, okay? The new improved champagne poppy. Basically, he's Mr. Take Your Bib. Now, we'll probably never get to the level of popularity, fame, and also just like wealth that Drake got, but. We've always wondered, what would you do if you had all that damn power? Okay, well, one person pretty much found out and looked like he's going to find out the real hard way, okay? Because he tried to troll Drake, and Drake basically got up in his girl's DMs, okay? Now, if you guys don't know, um, you know the NBA playoffs is going on right now. And John Moran, he's like a breakout star, okay? So, you know, of course, the NBA, they don't like when fathers are like two, you know what I mean, in the limelight, you know? He's his court size, he supports his son, and he's seen with a lot of celebrities, and people don't like it, okay? So somebody put out a, a, a headline saying, T. Morant, which is John Moran's father, is approaching LeVar Ball levels of annoyance. Somebody responded by saying, damn, this is crazy, because he's literally done nothing but be a supportive father on the sidelines giving props to his son and all his son's opponents. Now, keep in mind, Drake is just a new father. He's a new father of his son Adonis, okay? And he commented on the same post and said, imagine your son makes the league, and he's Ja or Melo or Alonzo, and all you could do is be elated and competitive and over-supportive, and it's a rite of passage. That's that OG talk-ish. I know I'm going to be this way even if my son is in a Rubik's Cube competition. Now, one smart guy in the comment section to, you know, uh, to Drake's comment said, your son probably playing with ghostwriters. Now, you know what Drake said to him? Drake said, got you. You know what? I just followed your girl because she probably is miserable and needs some excitement in her life. Okay. Now, uh, listen, I don't want to put too much of his family and I leave out the kids out of it. But, you know what I mean? Apparently, that's his dude. That's his wife. Okay? Now, the next thing we see, Drake follows her. I blurred out all the usernames because I don't want y'all go stalking or nothing like that. However, the next thing, his he looks on his wife's phone and pretty much he sees Drake up in his wife DM to him, I'm here for you, man. Now, here's the funny thing about it. I don't know if she showed him the phone or he just went through her phone, but before Drake even mentioned that, she actually put up two stories saying, oh, hey, Drake, I see you. Basically, she belongs to the streets, okay? Listen, man, I wouldn't want to play around with a dude like Drake, especially when it comes to, and by the way, I don't know if y'all know, Drake got a reputation for doing this in the industry. If he's doing this to rap niggas, if he's doing this to people in the industry, imagine what he's going to do to a goddamn peon. Now, if you want to be naive enough to think that your girl won't go for Drake, okay, and she, she ain't going to go for all that money, all that fame, all that success, okay, you could be an idiot. All I'm saying is I think this thing took a loss, man. And, again, this is one of the things I think we all kind of want to do. It's like big bang take little bank, except you get to kind of ruin their, their relationship will never be the same again. Okay, it's all fun and games until she's aboard Air Drake. Okay, it's all fun and games until his balls is bouncing off her chin, nigga. That's it. So, again, hey, his loss. But that's why you don't really troll people. All right, get a comment box, but you guys like them, subscribe. Uh, what's the most savage thing you've seen a celebrity do to anybody, especially when they get petty? Because it's always cool when you get petty with them. Not when the celebrity returns it in their favor. Okay, get a comment box, but you guys like them, subscribe. We're taking them.